Welcome, this is round six of a Magic Online Extended PTQ. Um, watching Buchan and Nosferatu uh, playing in round six again. They're both undefeated. Alright, let's see. Seeker and Coast and Celestial Colonnade. So, got a feeling this is another Stone Forge uh, Mystic uh, Mirror. Oh, but this is the Bant deck on the bottom. And both players revealing Sword of Feast and Famine and Vendillion Click. Seems a very important card in the mirror from what I've seen today. Um, stealing swords after they've been fetched. But oh, he also had the other sword and surprisingly relevant. Here. Blocks with Stone Forge, but that means they can't cheat his own sword into play. So let's see what happens. Uh, smell cryptic command. Yep, sure enough. Post board, Knight of the Reliquary, alright. And uh, Tectonic Edge on Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, the race is kind of on, but I mean just one hit with that Crusader is going to be huge. So yeah, so here's a Mita Vault, but it gets Path to Exile. And, oh, let's see. Urza's Foil End. <laughs> I like those. And a big hit here. And, uh, you know, Double Strike with a sword is just so insane. Here we mills 20 and puts two wolves into play. And now we have another Stone Forge Mystic to get back to Sword of Feast and Famine. Not sure what uh, can happen here. Oh, he's got his own sword. So that'll, that could muck things up. Hits, and if he's got a Cryptic Command in hand, he could get there, maybe. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Gideon Jura. Which uh, will absorb this attack. Here comes the sword. And lots of attacking. Here comes the crack back for seven, which will put. If he's got a cryptic command, that could be game. Uh, I see triple blue. Indeed. Not sure what the outs are here. Oh, there we go. Because Holy Pride Mage will take out that sword. Can block one Mita Vault, preventing a lethal attack. Sack. So the question is, does he have an answer to the guys on the board? Oh, Day of Judgment. So, uh, he's got two Mita Volts. Either of those hits, that's game. And no cards in hand for Buchanan. Uh, I can't imagine what he can draw here besides Gideon that could get there. And that insult to injury, there's another Vendillion click. And keeps the card there, so I'm guessing that's game. Marion Crusader, yes. Uh, swing with team. Nice game one. Alright, stay tuned for game two. We are back for game two. Let's see what happens. Uh, we've got Bant now top of the screen. Uh, opposing man lands. Uh, not much action going on early. Uh, Buchan, or Buchan, uh, whatever, uh, doesn't have any blue, so that might be uh, some kind of problem for him. Uh, Stoneforge comes down for so 
sort of feast and famine, but here comes Elspeth. Make chump blockers. Noble hierarch and soldier swings. Make another soldier. And here comes the sword. Equip and swing. It doesn't really do much as long as uh, you can keep bumping Els uh, Elspeth tokens. Here comes Sower. I mean, yeah, you steal a solder, but how good, it, how, how useful it really is that? I don't know. Um, you still blunk with the Tyrarch. Ah, Bant Charm. Nicely played. And here comes the sword, and that's really interesting. He. he um, Nosferatu chose not to uh, counter the Bant Charm on the Sword of Feast and Famine. And they made a great read because now he's able to uh, counter. Oh, wait a minute. He's got. Th there's three land up. Let's see what happens. Speaking too soon. Huh. He. You know, Buchan could have definitely paid Bant. Uh, mana leak mana so uh, he might have his own band charm in hand which might be more valuable so here it's it's a bit of a race and again he swing with five the soldier to exult in and cryptic command End of turn. There's still a stirring wallowood there that can block this ore. Let's see what happens. Ah, no swing. And Vendillion clicks. Such an important card in these matchups. And it steals a cryptic command. Wow. Now, uh, pump the click. And it's going to swing into a colonnade. See, that's a. 7-5 click being blocked by a colonnade and a sower. 2 for 1. 2 for 3 really because he gets back to solder. Oh, and that's not even a 2. It's a, Wow, great play there. I don't understand. Well, I don't know. Killed the sower. And here comes the sword. And Day of Judgment. Alright. Um, again, he needs to have the path. There's a steering wall of wood that can get pumped by the Elspeth. It all comes down to whether... Alright. Yeah, he saw it. And there must not have been a path. Uh, stay tuned for Game 3. We're back for Game 3. Uh, winner is likely in the top 8. Again, I'm assuming this is seven rounds. I guess it might be eight. Uh, so take that back. But uh, the winner is definitely in great position to top eight. All right. Um, here comes a sword down. Will he equip? Yeah, there's the equip. But Vendillion click. Interesting. Unified will, wow. Path to exile on the Stone Forge. And here comes sort of Feast and Famine, which can get equipped uh, on Mutavault here, so it's not irrelevant. Uh, Pride Mage, nice. Mana Leak, he's surely going to have to try and counter that if he can. And Bench Charm to destroy the sword. So I guess the end result is the same. Swords are so powerful. 
and second sword beacon and use another sword oh of interesting uh, our uh, Nosferatu is close to timing out 29 seconds left uh, four minutes left for Buchan so he's just in great position uh, he probably had the game one anyway look uh, just the creatures and cards in hand but uh, it seems like a very intricate matchup um, and uh, if you're playing this on Magic Online I'm, you, you really have to keep an eye on your clock uh, these control mirrors are, or semi-control mirrors are, are can can sometimes come down to that, but uh, good game, uh, and uh, we'll see if I can record some other games from this uh, round or if not, I'll uh, come back for next round. Thanks for watching.